In this video, I'll show you how to implement the model view, view model pattern to create the rich edit control application. In a new WPF application, drag the rich edit control from the toolbox, drop it on the form, and reset its layout. As a result, the rich text editor is created with a built-in ribbon containing all related items. The WPF Rich Text Editor allows you to bind documents loaded from a database in XAML using the Document Source property. Let's use this to display the database content in RTF format. I've already added a data model from the CARS DB database using the Entity Framework Code First approach. The data model is represented by the CARS model class. The CARS class represents an individual database table. It provides the RTF content property, the value of which is going to be used as a document source. Let's create a view model, generate a document source, and bind it to the document source property. Create a view model folder. Right click it and select Add Class. Specify the class name and click Add. In the new class, create a cars model instance to access the database model and a cars object to access specific database entry. Declare a document source property to specify the document source. In the view model constructor, load and fill the database. Access the RTF content value of a first data item and pass it to the document source property. Let's switch to the XAML code. Declare all required references, including a reference to the new view model and MVVM namespaces. Set the main window's data context property to the view model instance. Then bind the document source property to the view models property. And that's it. Let's run the application and see the results. Let's save changes made in the document back to the database. We'll need to access the current document content and set it as the target RTF content property value. Then provide the ribbon with a new Save to Database button and bind it to a custom command which saves the RTF content. Switch to the View Model class and do the following. Create a new string current text instance and implement the update RTF text method to pass the current document content to the created string object. Implement the can save and save methods to pass the saved content to target RTF content property. We'll use these methods as an execute and can execute command methods when binding to the button's command property. In a XAML code, bind the rich edit controls content changed event to the update RTF text method using the DX event binding mechanism. This will instantly update the current text object every time the document content has been changed. Use the rich edit controls RTF text property as a method parameter. Next, create a ribbon actions collection and add an insert action to it to create a new save to the database item with a specified icon. Bind the save and can save methods to the new button's command property using the DX command binding mechanism. Next, we'll add remove actions to remove the save save as, new, and open ribbon items to restrict end users from loading and saving content from external files. Now let's run the application. As you can see, the new button is added to the file ribbon tab, while the new, open, save, and save as items are removed. I'll make some changes to the document, and save it. When I rerun the project, all the changes are saved as required. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our WPF controls, make sure to watch more videos from our playlist or check out the documentation on our website. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.